I don't care whether it's a grizzly bear or a black bear, they're both dangerous. Multiple people are getting attacked every year and close encounters every year. We're gonna look at how to survive a bear attack. So this last spring when I was bear hunting, I had a bear encounter, kind of opened my eyes. Wow, I could have been more prepared for this. Now, this isn't my first encounter with a charging bear. When I was just a kid back home in Northwest Montana, I shot a charging grizzly bear in the chicken coop. I've had a lot of time and a lot of years to think about and anticipate bear charges because that's something that sticks with you for your whole life. I can share some of my experiences and make sure you're prepared anytime that you go out in the outdoors in bear country. Unbelievable. That's not staged. Straight up, that bear tumbled down the hill and landed on my bow. And I shot when he was like right up there on the other side of the log. Cause I think I got one off when it was on the far side of the log. And then as soon as it planted its feet, I was right here. It was right there. It was seven feet away. And it, its head was down right there and I shot it right in the forehead at five feet. And it died right there. That's where I dropped my bow. I didn't stage any of that. The thing tumbled over and that's how it died. Look at that, right between the eyes at point blank. That's where I shot her at five feet. So what we're gonna do is recreate the situation from this bear, how it charged and what I did uh, to wait it out basically and shoot it in the forehead at, at point blank. So we're gonna do uh, the tire on the hill, roll it down, it's pretty steep and hopefully I can get a shot into the tire and step out of the way without it hitting me simulating what happened in this situation. And this is a straight on frontal shot coming right at me fast from 20 yards. I shot the bear with an arrow and he locked on me. It's all happened within seconds. So yeah, it's gonna be fast. I gotta shoot this tire with one shot. I'm gonna wait for it to come up close and then step out of the way and hopefully not get run over. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, so I, I took my tie, I shot more than once, which you could. But the whole point of that exercise is picking your target, picking your target, sighting the forehead of that bear and waiting for him to come in. Let's see if we can find a hole. Okay, so this is the same tire we we're shooting the other day, but you can see that I, I hit it dead center. Uh, through the tire and it hit the cardboard and ran down the length of the cardboard Once again a, a frontal it's it's not as a, a challenging of a shot because the target isn't moving It's coming right at you. And so you don't have that lateral movement. So in theory It is a little easier To hit your target and that's probably why I was able to to get that bear in the forehead is because He wasn't moving laterally I definitely at least got one good shot on there. There's a hole right there and ooh, look at that one right there. It's a hole right in the center right there. I don't shoot this pistol that good. It's not a long range pistol. And so you're taking your time and you're picking your shot. That's, that was my biggest takeaway from this whole bear charge situation was picking your shot. And number two, that I need to practice more because you can be great at the range, but when you're in the moment and in a situation like that, the fundamentals go out the window, your accuracy is gonna go out the window. And so the, the more that you can be familiar with your pistol, the better.